Now, drills for all these things. Again, do whatever you got to do. That's the use nets and everything. Quarterbacks moving with the ball. Now I'll show you everything that we do to get ready to build up to this stuff. Okay? Cross field drops. I start at one side of the field, and then we'll go all the way across all 53 yards across the field with uh, this type of movement. So we'll just drop like regular all the way across, reach, reach, cross over, reach. What you'll get the first couple times doing this, kids will start karaoke. I had listened to the coach last hour uh, that he was talking with the, the lateral speed. It's kind of what we're looking at. So I just made an adjustment in my drop technique when I listened to him. Then we'll shuffle just like basketball, trying to keep, you know, heel, don't, don't let your heels touch all the way across the field, but don't cross over. Then we'll do a quick three, rotate fast hips, almost like you're dancing. Then we got angle drops, so we'll We'll drop uh, three steps to the right, one, two, three, hard, and then really break hard, three, and then we'll go back three, so all the way across the field we'll do that. It gets people, quarterback turning their hips, and then reaching to move right and left. Four corners, I'll show you all that stuff when I get there. I got some little cones, I got some little pictures. It's beautiful. Rudimentary, terrible. Here we go, here's the first one, all the way across the field. I know we're in the gym, we're only going to, across the gym floor. Okay, hustle back guys, hustle, here we go. I don't know about you, but I'm sick of those tights kids are wearing, playing basketball and, this one. okay, sorry. Anybody agree? Yep, yep. Good God, okay. Thank you MBA for showing us that stuff, right? That was all the way across the field. Now we got to shuffle. And you can get to the middle of the field. You can switch and go the other way. Get to the middle of the field, stop, come back. You can go to the numbers. You can go quicks. Your imagination is your limitation. Heard that once at a clinic, too. Stuck with me. Coach Miyamoto probably told me that. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Get it. God, I wish that kid would have been able to take a hit. He'd been good. Here's a quick three, and turn your hips. Quick three, turn your hips. One, two, three, hips. One, two, three. Stay down a, a, one of the, the yard line markers all the way across the field. They don't have to worry about you know staying straight. Just stay down the field all the way across. Simple. Try to stand down these little lines here, but they did pretty good. So that's your quick three all the way across. And here's the three, or is it five? Three, four, five, they got five on this one. Just a diagonal drop all across the field, only totally working on hips, getting your things moving. Two, three, four, five, they just did five. Get three if you want to be a little quicker. Here's the three. Notice I keep the ball up top, keep the ball high. Don't drop it down. That upper plateau. All right, now some things I want to talk a little bit about that I don't have any film for because now we're running out of time in the gym. I think the, they both play basketball, so they had to be leaving. So coach came up and said, okay, so when you have practice next year, I can just come out and get the guys to shoot free throws before practice. I'm, like, I'm sorry, coach, I just need I can make a video. So the good thing about our school right now is that unlike maybe some schools, us coaches, we get along. It's kind of cool. So I mean, my, my weight guys, you know, Ryan and I do weight room in the winter, but when we need kids to do things, we get them to do things and coaches don't really get pissed. Um, we're not very good in basketball, maybe that's why, but um, we're, we're trying, we're getting better. So the thing is that I really like about our school, our, our staff gets together. The weights we do and the last men we were talking to are about from Caledonia, I think it was. The good thing about us is that we do have that program and everybody, and it's AD enforced. Uh, everybody's lifting during their season, two days a week during season. We got about 18 kids, I think, Ryan, that come in um, with us, and they're mostly our big linemen. And then uh, a few of our big linemen are wrestling, our D backs are wrestling, linebackers, I don't know what the hell they're doing, they're pissing me off. Okay, that's it. So we got one issue there, but um, we'll, get, we'll get better. So, Right here, this is something you can set up. I put the cones up there, but they're just kids. They're quarterbacks. If you got two or three, it's, uh, 
there are four, you should have four, okay? What I do is that that whole package that we just went through, the one-step, two-step, three-step, all the drops you're going to be working on. All I do is I get out there and I put my quarterbacks in a stagger across 10 yards. One guy go there, one guy get about five yards up, and it's no, no science. You just make sure you stagger, okay? This group of kids looks this way. This group of kids looks that way. And we're all throwing left. So we'll go step one, throw to your guy diagonal from you. So we get a lot of reps in, just throwing, throwing, throwing. When you get done with all the drops you want to work on for the day, switch the kids around and go the other way. Throw right and throw left, okay? Um, like I said, use the whole package. Now you can use the same set. If y'all are an option team or whatever, do the same stuff. And you can probably do the option pitch drill. Get across from your, your partner, and we go down. We'll step, pitch, fade away so we don't get hit. And then we go again. He's the lead, I'm the guy. Step, pitch, fade away so you don't get hit. Okay? Option drill all the way across the field, same setup. That's the drill. I have no film on that stuff, so you have to believe me. Um, drills for drops, if you're out there in the field, and again, we don't do these every day, but you got to keep the kids moving because of ADD. I think I have it too. Doesn't really matter. Pick a drill and do it. So I put some bags down, and I just keep thinking about what kind of stupid stuff can I do today that's going to help my kids do something in the game that they're going to do. So I'll put bags up and, you know, put so many three feet, two feet between them so that they can drop into that bag. They're going to be looking like this one again. After a while, though, they'll drop and they'll have that awareness of where that bag is by their feet. So you get the awareness of people below you and they're getting blocked into you. And then we get in there and then we'll work on movement in the pocket, okay? So once you get into the bags, I just, you throw, hold the ball or whatever, and I just point left or right. And then the kids will be in the bag, and they'll oops, step over the bag, and they'll chop their feet, and step over the bag, and chop their feet. D Lyman and all the defensive guys love the bags. I love the bags, because we can jump over things. It's cool, okay? So you get in the pocket, move, move, move. It's another drill. Simple setup, and you can get it done in a couple seconds. Then I do this one. This is where I'll keep the bags out there, same thing. Have your quarterback get where the X is. Drop back three steps or five steps, whatever you want to be working on. And then we'll have one movement in the pocket right here. We'll move over right or left, doesn't matter, right? And then you gotta go back left. Then I'll hitch up two to three hitches. Okay, one, two, you're moving in the pocket. And now I'll have bags set up in this kind of arrangement. And now I'll just run through the bags. Boom, 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 boom. And then once I get to the end, I'll have the extra quarterback standing over here in the wall somewhere, and we'll just do a, a certain sort of pass, a little touch pass. Maybe he'll be in the corner of the end zone. I'll rifle it to the corner, throw it up high in the corner. Maybe it'll be an option pitch at the end. I'll kid stand right there, and we'll pitch. So you can put a whole bunch of different techniques that you want to use into that drill. Just, again, use your imagination do whatever you want to do. Star drills. This one, you get the kid, the quarterback in the middle. Now these can be calls, okay? I should make triangles. Credit okay, coach, you told me that when we were <laughs> making these films when you guys were doing dodgeball. So we'll drop back here, make a three-step drop, and then he's got to always go back to the middle. Then we'll move left in the pocket, then we'll move right in the pocket, then we'll move up to the angle, move up on the angle. Always go back to the middle. Just let your kid drop, come back, drop, come back, drop, come back, and just get movement with his feet. Okay, it doesn't need to be very far. Obviously, two or three step, three steps is what it's going to be most of Okay, set up at a star. You can be just like the D line and my buddy's favorite drill is a star drill. They chase each other around the bags and tackle each other, whatever they do. Love that. Then this one, set up four cones. Set up as far as you want. Ten yards, five yards. It's up to you. You drop back here on a regular drop. Then you might shuffle, uh, move in the pocket left, move in the pocket left. Then you're going to hitch up, and then you're going to maybe move in the pocket left, move in the pocket left, or sprint. Just do whatever, whatever you want to do. Again, feet, hips, anything for the quarterback. Simple setup. Okay? Here's drills again. Cones, go through cones, get out, go through cones, get out. Set it up any way you want to. This one, this is total 
Clinic BS, how's that? You gotta have one of those in every, in every clinic. I set these things up like this. I'll drop back here. I'll step in the pocket this way, hitch up and over, go across these two, run laterally, and then sprint, because it's a scramble. I'm going, I'm getting up, getting over. This is just something that I threw together because the pictures were there and I had the big blocks on my slide. I was just playing with them and I made this up. You can do whatever you want to do too, okay? Use your imagination is, I guess, the key word I use there. I don't think I've ever used this drill in my life, but I get a chance to do it. Okay, now some reaction drills. What I do with these things, I've got time. What I do with these things is I set my extra kids up in a, just a shell, simple. You know, cover two shell or cover three shell. And I'll have the quarterback turn away from the kids and I'll point to a kid. He'll take a three step, five step drop. And when he gets to the end of that drop, one of the kids is going to go boom, flash his hands, and the quarterback's going to throw it as quick as he can. Just to get him looking and seeing where receivers are. Boom, okay, I'll throw it. And then I'll add movement in. So I'll say that kid flashed his hands, but he did that after one of the receivers started running across the field. And then he's got to throw it to the kid that flashed his hands. So it gets him looking two places, okay? Let's see what they got going on here. Okay, a little bit of bit of it. Takes a drop, kid there flashes his hand, throw him the ball. Nothing really, 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 really stressful about these drills. But right about now, the kids are starting to come in for their warm up for basketball, so we're really pushing for time. So I'm sorry about this. Here's a quick flash. That was done. Okay, and that, boom. <coughs> Here's one where they move first and then you throw it. <coughs> he flashes, there he goes, get up. There's movement, throw it to him. Pretty simple drills. Those are some linemen catching there, dudes. That's a lineman. He's got good hands, though. Might move the tight end, right? Coach? No. No. <laughs> Couple minutes, Coach. Okay, I'm, I gotta just get out of here, yeah? There we go. Move on. Okay. Now, reaction drills again. Pick your choice of coverage. All over what you want to do. This next one, reload drill. What we're doing is I'll get, I'll have a whole pile of balls, three or four depending, and I'll get receivers standing up in about five yard increments, right in a straight line. What's gonna happen is I'll tell the quarterback to take a drop, and then I'm gonna, he's gonna have a, a drop with the first ball in his hands, and he'll throw it to the first kid that's at five yards right behind me. And then I'm gonna have all these balls, I'm just sitting right here, I'm just picking up, and as he throws the first one, before it's even gone, I'm grabbing it, I'm throwing it right back into his hands. So he gets it back to that boom real quick, and he's got to take a one step and then throw it to the next kid. And we'll get all the way up to 15 to 20 yards, and then we'll go from 10 to 20 to 30 and things like so on and so forth, okay? You can set kids up on a diagonal, so you get the right and left throws, set kids right up, right up front of you, okay? Just reload quick as you can, get the ball off. All right, here it is in a little bit of film. There we go, makes a whole bunch of sense, right? Boom, boom, boom. Coach. Yes, sir. If you've got three lines of the receiver players, would you ever have them go to the middle line and another to the I'm, side? Great, that's a great idea. If I had three lines of receivers, it'd be great. But a lot of times I don't get the receivers when I'm doing my little doofus stuff with quarterbacks because he's out there doing catching tennis balls or throwing golf balls off each other's helmets and trying to catch them, things like that. So we don't ever do these drills kind of with the receivers. Mm -hmm. This is just whatever quarterbacks I have. And whatever, you know, I get, my sons when they were little, they would always hang around, so they were always catching passes. So they would always have to be in the drills. But, God, yeah, if you could get, you know, set up three lines and you just want to do that. Receivers catching the ball, it's warm up time? Hell yeah, it's a great idea. I'll put that in the next drill set. Just kidding. Okay, cover three reads and vertical reads. Cover two windows. 
Here's just some stuff, okay? What happens in the cover three read? I put a kit right here and put these guys about, I don't know, 10, 15 yards apart. You're reading strong safety on a slant and an arrow, okay? So this kid has a wrong read, doofus. Okay, goes that way, quarterback's got to throw here. He goes this way, quarterback's got to throw there. Do this with four kids, it's awesome, okay? Just a quick reaction drill. And then I'll set the kids up high in a one high safety read. So if you got, you know, you got a four vert package or you got two verts going out of one high safety, just make it look like this. So he looks off. Wherever he looks, this guy's got to go. If he looks right, that guy's got to go right because that's where we're planning on throwing that, that vertical. And if he goes left, you throw right. Simple drill. Something you can work on for that stuff. Okay. Hand off mechanics. Holy buckets. I don't think we need to watch you enough. We don't. I don't know. Ben wants to watch me. We're pretty much done. I'm, I'm <laughs>